Hi everyone, Tim the Plane Man here and welcome to Plane Time Autonomous Drone Following Edition. What we're going to have is we're going to have the drone, in this case the Redback Spider, and this one's for you Nick, is we're going to have the drone follow and track a plane taxiing on the runway. Um, let's do it step by step. So we'll just do taxiing to start with. We're going to have the drone following the plane. And the way that that works is all we have to do is set up follow mode in RD Pilot. And once we set up follow mode, we need to tell it to track a Mavlink Sys ID. And the Mavlink Sys ID will be Mavlink Sys ID 15. Just the same Sys ID we used for the camera tracking. And that will be the sys id of the plane so here we have in mission planner the parameters for setting up follow and it's really um, the basics are that we have to set follow enable to one and when you initially have uh have this um, follow enable is zero that's the default and there will be no other follow parameters. You set it to one, you do a refresh, you get the other parameters here. Here is the key parameter that you need. Follow sys ID, that's the sys ID of the plane to follow. And 15 is the glass star. And then I've set a couple of other things just to, um, as far as I know, I wanna get this to work. So the offset Z, which is how high the plane, the drone will be below the plane. So positive is below, negative is above. So I'm saying minus 10. I want the drone to be 10 meters above the plane. And that's because I'm going to be doing it around on the ground. Also because the camera is mounted underneath the drone, so it won't work that great if the plane's above. So I want the drone to be above the plane. And I'm also saying that I want the drone to be a maximum of 100 meters away. If I lose the plane by more than 100 meters, then I'm gonna I'm gonna actually reduce that. I'm gonna say, if I lose it by 25 meters for now, then the drone will give up on following. I only plan to be taxiing around slowly on the runway, so that should be fine. And then I also want to say that I want the drone to be behind. So I'm gonna say it's following the vehicle and I want it to be Again, negative. So I'm going to say negative five. So if I understand that correctly, it's offsets in north or forward. So if positive, the vehicle will fly ahead or north of the lead vehicle. I'm saying minus five, I want it to be behind. And so that's the set of parameters that we'll have. We're going to go out and we're going to try that. We'll see how drone follow mode works.